Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for August 7th, 2018. So, hey guys, we've been pushing up here just a nice, um, a nice little grind higher. Uh, pushing, pushing, pushing. Let's um, kind of focus in on where we are when it comes to um, support and resistance here for a second. Um, currently, we're looking at um, the Dow pushing right up here. There's that resistance level, and we have a resistance right here in price that we're trying to break through and push, push toward that level. But let's keep in mind that right now, at least as it stands at the very moment, we still have not broken that high right there, and we still run the risk of that potential resistance uh, pushing against um, or fighting against the bulls as we push up here. I suspect with what I see right now in the current futures market that we will move right up here into that level very, very close and try to break that level today. And one of the reasons I say that is if we look at the SPY, SPY actually managed to make that break here um on on this chart and managed to push through that level um here this morning or excuse me um excuse me yesterday push through that level yesterday breaking back above this uptrend line and we have right up above this all-time high resistance and i suspect once we get this close to it it, it would be a kind of a surprise not to see the bulls push or reach out to try and achieve that um, a test of the record high or even a new record high. So we have that going for us here. But I want to point out that as we're moving up, we have to watch this a little bit closely. And it, it may be a product of just summer trading. Um, August is a big vacation month. We could be seeing a lot of traders and things out for vacation. That might be one of the reasons we're watching this rally on volumes that continue to drop, but we'll have to keep an eye on it. If you've watched the price action, you know it just seems as we're pushing up, we seem just a little bit tentative, just a little bit hesitant to, to reach out all the way. And only the SPY yesterday was able to break through that resistance level so once again the diamond's just not quite there not not breaking through if we look at the cues the cues unable to break all the way through there we did rally that's nice but we're just kind of getting that slow grind and i'm a little bit concerned i i, I shouldn't say concerned i want to be cautiously aware of the fact that we could on this light volume begin to see failure patterns occur at any time. Now I'm not hoping for that. I'm hoping that those bulls can continue to maintain this pressure and we can actually push on out. But seeing the volumes coming in um, lighter and lighter every single day, that does have me um, just a little bit concerned on this tentative um, action that we're seeing right now. If we look at IWM, you can see the same thing here at IWM, just kind of struggling here at resistance, unable to really push higher. As a matter of fact, IWM has probably the biggest concern to me, um, staying below resistance levels here unable yet at this point to break through back above and we could see issues cropping up here now this morning we're looking at a gap up open and you can see the markets are looking for a little bit of higher open and you can see right there's where the iwm is looking to open this morning and the diamonds um, are looking to possibly breach this level right here this morning and maybe join in uh, the push for a move higher. Let's hope that's the case. So I don't want to overly do the reason for caution, but at the same time, I want to um, point out that there is reason to have a little bit of caution with uh, volumes dropping and that tentativeness in the price action. Let's take a quick look at the VIX. The VIX not showing any fear at all, just really continuing this move lower 
um, as we approach those resistance highs. So uh, according to the VIX, we don't have much fear in the market. Everything seems to be copacetic. So keep that in mind as you plan your day forward. If we take a look at T2122, that four week new high, new low ratio, it hasn't been given, whoops, it hasn't been giving us um, really good information here lately. And um, that's just because we're doing a lot of swinging back and forth. We whip up, whip down, whip up, whip down. And we're getting kind of the same today. We, we did move um, to the higher side, uh, but notice we have plenty of room for upside move. We have plenty of room for a downside move as well so um, nothing in here as far as a potential reversal it's not giving us any clues we have room to go up and that's a good sign as we're pushing up toward those um, resistance levels so with that everyone let's take a look at the economic calendar here economic calendar we only have one potential market moving um, news report here and that's the jots report um, this report um, tells us um, about job openings and job openings are still increasing there's uh, more jobs out there right now than people looking for jobs that's continuing to put a little pressure on wages and helping um, helping that wage growth so our economy continues to show lots and lots of strength and labor demand continues to show um, lots of strength um, as this economy just continues to show um, uh, growth, um, all kinds of growth all over the place. And uh, what's surprisingly um, interesting is that we're not seeing a major pressure on inflation while that's going on. So that's all good news. Um, keep in mind the rest of the reports throughout the day, um, none of them would be expected to move the market around at all. So that is good news on the earnings front here's where we have to really focus in on um we had um well just short of 400 companies reporting earnings today about 380 some companies reporting in earnings those earnings uh, results are coming in really fast and furious this morning and we have quite a, a group of um earnings reports after the close today as well so as those continue to come in pretty fast, the market could move around here a bit, uh, particularly if there's some kind of a major surprise um, in those reports. So far, not so much in the earnings uh, reports by and large have been bullish. So all seems to be well there. Right now, uh, Dow futures are currently pointing to about a 75 point gap up here at the open. We'll want to watch. Remember, gap ups toward resistance. We have to be um, extra watchful for, for the possibility of that whipsaw, that intraday whipsaw that takes it right back down. So watch that closely. It don't, doesn't mean to be um, extremely fearful because we are moving up. We are showing that strength. But it's something we have to be watchful of just in case um, and have a plan prepared. One of the things that and it used to plague me all the time as I get caught up, I'd get caught up in the pre-market noise, all of the, all the emotion and everything surrounding it. I get caught up in the fear of missing out, um, as we rally toward a, uh, a market high. And what I would typically do is over trade. I would be buying or adding a bunch of extra risk as we approach that um, resistance level and w what i've learned over the years is that's that's a really bad habit to be in um, as a matter of fact what i um, intend to be doing as we continue to kind of grind higher i have winning trades in my portfolio i'm planning to trim some of those um, profits and reduce my risk as we approach those resistance levels keep in mind the spy only has um, just over a point and a half to go to reach an all-time record high. And as we reach that up there, we do have run the risk of, um, you know, that failure, particularly seeing volumes dropping off. Now, we do also have a great opportunity that the bulls could just really take over and show lots of strength and push us on through. But that's okay, because as we approach resistance, as we approach all-time highs, a very normal thing to happen when we reach up there is consolidate. We rest. 
that would be the bullish move is if we move up there, hit that resistance or actually pass through that resistance to consolidate. So um, I, I'm not risking um, um, really future profits by being cautious as we approach resistance. As a matter of fact, a very, very common thing to see, and we do this all the time, we push through resistance levels. If that does occur, push through resistance levels, the next move is generally a pullback to test support and to test trend. So I'm not risking a whole lot by taking off or I'm not risking future profits necessarily by taking off some risk as we move up to that resistance, okay? Just a couple thoughts to pass along to everyone. Hey, I wanna wish you all a fantastic day, and if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor, click that subscribe button on YouTube, follow me button on Facebook, click those thumbs up buttons and drop a comment. I truly, truly appreciate everyone who takes the time to write a short comment and, the, and you guys have just been really supportive and I really do appreciate it. And please feel free to pass this video on to any friends and family. Um, remember this is free. I don't, there's, there's no ads on these videos. I never intend to make money from this. This is just one of the ways that I prepare for my day and I want to share that with everyone um, to help them do a better job in trading. And that's really my goal with these videos is to help everyone become a, a better trader. After trading 13 years as a full-time trader, supporting my uh, family, um, putting a couple kids through college, um, I, I, that experience, I, I want to be able to pass on and help other traders because believe me, I know um, I spent years and years in that really terrible place of struggle um, in trading. So if you find this helpful, please uh, Please support us by just subscribing. I do appreciate it. Everyone take care. Have an awesome, awesome day. And I will talk to you all very soon, bright and early Wednesday morning.